So these are the guitars of 2015. There's been a few that have came and gone, so I need to update this. And this is my uh, LTD H500, which is a import ESP guitar. And that's a nice, beautiful flame maple veneer, or it might be a top. And those are Seymour Duncan's a Custom 5 and a Jazz in the neck. 24 frets, and it's very nice. It's got abalone inlays. Very nice guitar. It's got extra jumbo frets too, so it's really easy to play. Okay, next we have the Kramer Pacer. This is my last new guitar day, or new guitar that I had a new guitar day. And it's been six months since I've had a new guitar. So it's been a while. And so here's the Kramer Vintage Pacer. And the uh, Bengal Tiger with the Orange Burst is what they call that with the JB and the 59, 59 and the JB, however that is, with the Floyd Rose 1000. Moving right along, there's my Gibson Les Paul, uh, $5,000 model, but it's it's just the model. <laughs> and that's my other nice little model of my Blue Strat. Okay, getting back to the guitars. This is my Michael Kelly with the abalone binding. This is a Patriot Premium with an ebony neck. And you can see the inlays are abalone on the binding. And that's a nice, those are uh, um, mother of pearl inlays. And it's a quilted maple top. Very nice looking guitar. And that's got the EMG 8185 combo. Okay, since we're down here, let's just keep going with the Schechter Devil. This is a uh, custom uh, Devil Custom. And it's in the Diamond Series. This was a limited run guitar. This is also an ebony neck. And it has the double eye in the 12th inlay, or in the 12th fret position. And this is a um, burl maple top. And it's in, this is called, um, ooh, uh, antique, um, I'll have to get back to you on that. They also made it in a blood red version and a green in the year 2008. It's a very nice playing guitar. EMG 81 and 85 as well with the Tone Pros uh, bridge. And here is my 60s tribute, which I bought last year. It's a 2013 model. So, what it is is uh, they call it 60s tribute, but it's like a, um, it's, uh, it's basically uh, what the Les Paul standard was back in 1959 without all of the um, bells and whistles. So it's got the burst bucker one and two, and it has a vintage gloss, what they call it. And what I've done is bought some um, some polish that's used for lacquer and paint, and I've shined it up. So mine's shinier than what you would get if you were to buy it. You have to get some polish and because I like my guitar shiny. Okay, let's move on. All right, here we got an Epiphone Les Paul. It's a studio. It's made in the Chinese um, custom factory. It's so called Walnut. The whole the whole body is made of walnut, and it's got the uh, the uh, USA designed um, classic um, humbuckers. So it's, they're basically like PAFs, and I still have it. I didn't think I would, but I do. Okay, moving on. Here's uh, moving on to some Ibanez guitars. These are all pretty much vintage now. This is a '91, and this is these are saber. There's four sabers here. I'm going to show you. This is a flame maple cherry wine. Hopefully, you can see the flame. And next to it is the lipstick red. This is an 88. Got the uh, vintage 
three selector switches there. This is down there in mint condition as well. Okay, and here's my Saber, my 88 Saber I bought in Germany. And it's a limited edition that were made for a distributorship in Germany. So you're not seeing these in any catalogs. I've got pictures of two other ones that were, that were people sent to me from Germany. When they seen my videos of mine, they were like, I have this guitar. And so I said, send me some pictures because I, I love this guitar. And I'd really like to buy those other two off them, but it didn't happen. Okay, here we got 91 Jewel Blue. This one's made in, in Japan as well. They're all made in Japan, but the, this, this one is assembled in uh, Hollywood. Beautiful Jewel Blue. And next we have a, an RG, an Ibanez RG that I bought last year. I bought three guitars last year. This one's used, but it's in mint condition. And it's in laser blue with the matching blue uh, pit guard. It's very nice. Okay, next to that we have a Charvel. This is the, um, the custom colors that were made in USA. And this one's the taxi cab yellow. But you can't even find these on eBay. And it was made in 2009 to Charvel factory in um, California. This is our empty hanger for the guitar that's on its way any moment now from Paul Reed Smith. Okay, next we have the EVH Stripe Series. I love playing this guitar. It's really nice. I like the pickups. That's a Wolfgang humbucker. And it's cool. And that's an EVH Rose. So he's got his stamp on there. He's able to pull that off. Okay, let's look down here and at the stands here. We've got three black guitars. <coughs> Excuse me. First one is the coveted. 1968 reissue, Les Paul Custom. Very expensive guitar when it was new. These uh, were MSRP of 4300 And I got this used in mint condition. And everything's original, of course. Those are the nickel plated pickups and they're the ABR uh, bridge and the um, aluminum stop piece with these uh, nice appointments that were on the guitars back in 1968. Okay, and here's the Dean. This is a this is a reissue of the 1980 Dean Cadillac that I bought back in 2009, I believe. It's a nice guitar to play. The neck is real. The neck is really thin, and I got some jumbo frets, so it's easy to play. It's really nice guitar. And next guitar we have is an Epiphone version of a this is called a Custom Classic Antique so they've got the they even went with the diamond inlay and that's Mother of Pearl and they've got the binding at an aged yellow around the guitar front and back this was a limited edition guitar as well, so they, they don't make these anymore. They did it for a year, and I think it was exclusive to Guitar Center, in the States anyways. And this was made in a custom shop in China, in, in Gibson's Chinese uh, custom shop. So, let's move on. Okay, I'm back, and let's go ahead and finish our inventory of our guitars from 2015. This is the PRS I spoke about, and it's got the 81-85 combo again. That's a um, veneer and a Floyd Rose 1000 tremolo. It has jumbo frets with an ebony fretboard, and the fretboard 
has no inlays, and that is the PRS SE Torero. Very nice, my newest guitar. Okay, moving on over here. This is my second to next newest guitar that I just did a little review on, and that's the Jackson Pro Series Limited Edition Dinky. What you're looking at is some really large jumbo frets on an offset um, offset uh, inlays, black inlays with um, the black um, binding around the neck and headstock, and that's the Tiger Stripes paint scheme which is the unlimited edition edi edition they have three limited edition paint jobs this one a slime green swirl and a crackle that's out and those are JB JB and 59 Seymour Duncans okay next guitar we have the carbon bolt plus C this is a 2012 See that made in the United States with a nice flame maple fretboard. Really love that fretboard. Goes very nicely with the um, skin that was a uh, that was put on it, which is a zebra tiger stripe. It has the carbon C22 pickups in it, both the neck and the bridge with a Floyd Rose 1000 and five-way switch switching so you can get a good nice combo there okay down here we have my 2009 Korean made Fender Telecaster this is another limited run that they started and they ran it for I think four or five years it's got um, a Abalone oversized inlays and rosewood fretboard with some jumbo frets and the frets are really nicely done. You can see the edges and a spalted maple top. Next guitar is a American Standard, and this is a Telecaster, made in USA, Fender Tele, and that's a custom pick art I have made for it at Terrapin Guitars in Oregon. And that's a very nice pick art I had put on there. Well, I put it on, but. Okay, next guitar we have is a 1996 Jackson Performer or PS2 blackhead stock locking nut there. It's got um, 22 or 24 frets um, fretboard. That's uh, rosewood, and this one's made in Japan. And I don't know the exact name of the color. I call it like a metallic blue. This is the guitar that I did the project where I installed these three DiMarzios. Um, the Jackson pickups were really, really bad. So that's a Gravity Storm, Steve by Gravity Storm. That is a Fast Track 1. And that is a Billy Corrigan who plays for the Smashing Pumpkins. That's his signature pickup in the neck. It's a really nice guitar. And that's a, a licensed Floyd. Jackson license Floyd. Okay, we're down to our last guitar here on the list. And this is a vintage 1987, around 1987, Kramer Focus 3000, which is made in Japan by ESP. And they are similar to the American made Pacer Imperial, or Pacer Deluxe. I believe is what they call that one. That's a uh, rosewood fretboard with 22 frets. It's a beautiful color blue. That's a metallic blue. The pickups are made by Schaller. HSS style. 
there's a coil splitter here so you can split this humbucker and along with the five-way switching so you can get a lot of tones out of this guitar and it has the original Floyd Rose tremolo from way back in the day and it's a really nice looking guitar and it's fun to play too alright that's it those are my guitars for 2015 so far and the updated list. Thanks for watching.